Today we're going to go out to South Hold, Long Island, and we're going to go to this very tiny but great little boutique winery called One Woman Wine that's run by Claudia Perita. She was a restaurateur and she decided she was going to go back to being a farmer. She had grown up on a farm in Italy and now she has her own farm uh, in South Hold. They make uh, only estate wines. It's all small production, all done by hand. You're going to love this stuff. Uh, they were only selling by the bottle uh, during the pandemic. So I had to go back twice because much as I know most of you think I drink a lot, I really don't drink that much. So uh, had to bring some reinforcements to help me get through two bottles. Anyway, they make great, great stuff. I've been tasting her stuff for a long time now. Wanted to get her into the Stroop Waffle and uh, here we go. So it's a very short uh, video this time, but uh, she's doing great stuff. Everything I've ever had from her is great. I've had some Chardonnays from her, uh, Merlot's, Everything she does is quality. Come on, let's go. Hi, today we're on Long Island and we're going to go to South Hold, New York, and we're going to go to One Woman Winery and Vineyard. Claudia Perita grew up on her family's farm in Calabria, Italy, where they grew vegetables and wine grapes and raised small animals. After moving to Long Island, Claudia decided it was time to return to her roots. She and her husband bought the farm in 2001. She closed her restaurant in western Nassau County and planted the vineyard. Much of the vineyard was hand planted. Each vine has been meticulously tended to by Claudia's personal touch. She labors largely by herself to produce the highest quality wines that she can. One Woman Wines is entirely estate grown and produced. They have two tasting rooms, one in Greenport and one in the farm in South Old. One woman is entirely sustainably farmed. The seeding in spring, summer, and fall is absolutely intimate and charming. Even the hand sanitizer was local. The first wine I tasted on my first trip to One Woman was the 100% Pinot Noir Rosé. This is a limited run production, uh, approximately 180 cases a year and it flies out the door quickly. This is a stainless steel fermented Pinot Noir uh, Rosé, a lovely bright pink. Uh, it has a nose of rose petals and blood oranges. It also exhibits lovely bright uh, cherry and strawberry. Great refreshing citrus ending, a terrific and lively rosé. The next wine was the One Woman Gruner Veltliner. Uh, these vines were planted in 2008. A nice stainless steel gruner. Fabulous flavors of green apple, pink grapefruit, apricot, classic white pepper finish. Fruity and jammy and super aromatic. One of the best gruners of the entire Stroop Waffle year. Absolutely fantastic. The one nice thing about tasting on Long Island is you can always stop at a beach on your way home. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. There was a lot of fun. Uh, they're doing just such great stuff over there. It's that small boutique little winery. That uh, Pinot Noir Rosé is fantastic. Their regular Rosé is also very, very good. Uh, and that Gruner is just outstanding. Uh, one of the best Gruners on the East Coast. Really, just a tremendous, tremendous wine. And again, like I said, she's doing some other great stuff as well. So you got to get on out to One Woman out in Southold. You're going to have a ball, like I said, a small, intimate and the wines are terrific. Anyway, have a good one. We'll see you next time. Well, that's it for this edition of the Great American Winery Stroop Waffle. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll come back soon. And in the meantime, drink local.